the transfer deadline day has passed and the transfer budget is uh well and truly in the bin but of course that means i made at least one signing in today's video well off camera and it was only one signing and it may be the person on the thumbnail of this video i swear the rest of the video is going to be entertaining so stick around Hey guys, and welcome back to the fourth episode of the FM22 Bayern Munich save with me, Raxel FM, where today we are versing RB Leipzig in the Bundesliga, as well as playing our first game in the Champions League of this entire save, and of course, going over what has happened since last time we saw each other in the transfer window, and within our games, you can see I have turned it around just a wee bit if you guys are enjoying this save so far and you are excited for today's episode please make sure you do smash the like button as well as subscribing to the rex or fem youtube channel so you don't miss daily ish football manager content coming your way can we please smash 12 likes again for celebrating ending the transfer window and making some pretty good deals if i do say so myself we're going to start off by taking a look at what has happened in these two games obviously they were wins 3-0 and 4-0 with with Basuma scoring a goal here, Adiemi scoring a goal there, two players are signed, and Luis Felipe scoring a goal there. It's looking very good. Got Robert Lewandowski scoring in both of these games as well. Looking very good indeed, and I'm happy that we have turned things around, and we're now up in seventh place. It's not perfect. It's not exactly where we want to be, but it is much better than where we were at the end of last episode, and uh, yeah, running up behind uh, Bayern Munich. No, we are Bayern Munich, Borussia Dortmund in the German Super Cup. But I know what you all want to know, apart from the fact that we're in seventh place, is who I signed. And as I said, it's literally the player on the thumbnail. It is Kevin Mbabu. It's not the flashiest signing I could make. It's not the most expensive signing I could make either. 4.5 million pounds could eventually rise to 8.5. But I think it is a bargain for a player that is 26 years of age, comes in from a rival, which is what the board wanted me to do. He has the ability to start that right back position or just be a rotation option. He is able to play in that left back spot as well. So I like the versatility he brings and I think he's an intelligent signing that is certainly going to be useful all throughout the season and in the Champions League. We said we wanted depth and this man gives us depth. In terms of sales, we did manage to finalise the sale of Tolisso. A little sad to see him go for such a low fee of £6.25 million. But considering the fact his contract was expiring at the end of the year, and he did not want to renegotiate. I thought it was the best shout. And uh, oh, it does kill me a wee bit. But yeah, it was the best move to do financially. And Nazo, uh, have I said that right? Enazo? No, I've definitely not said that. Right, this French centre-back has gone out on loan. Hopefully going to get some serious game time over in the Bundesliga with the Union Berlin. Hopefully we don't have to smash them too much. And we've also loaned out another youngster in the form of Josip Stanisic. No way I've said that right, but hey, he's gone out online. That's the important thing. And now, this is what our team is looking like. Yes, it is the exact It is the exact same. Thank you for pointing that out. Uh, Thomas Muller suspended for this game. Wagnerman, I did actually try and loan out in the end because I don't think we need him anymore with uh, Hernandez coming back from injury and Mbabu. So a left back and a right back. Mbabu, as I said, can also play there as well. So I might actually just make him available for the under-23s for a... A good period of time let's, let's do that for 90 minutes there we go he's going to get some good game time there and of course i'll call him up when we desperately need him and i'm tempted to start in babu today but i feel like against one of the better sides it's probably more intelligent to play kimmich at right back and basuma in central midfield because he has been playing really well recently again one goal and two assists yeah no why would i ever take him off he's, he's looking perfect right now and babu's going to have to wait for his debut but you're not going to have to wait for the first game of today's episode against RB Leipzig. Could be another banana skin situation. And I'm actually very tempted to move down to a CDM formation. I think I am going to. I think I'm going to. Actually, I'm not going to create a new tactic. I'm going to copy this exact tactic and then just move Basuma down to CDM spot. Now I'm thinking maybe I should be. Maybe I should be playing someone else. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Maybe I should. Goretzka can definitely play as a Mazala on attack. 
And then Kimmich would be a better CDM. Yeah, I think I'm going to do it. I think we're going to take Musiala out, bring Mbabu in, and put Kimmich at CDM and Babu at right back. I think that's the most intelligent decision because of the options that we have right now. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. And I think it will keep the midfield very solid for this game and hopefully still create a lot of attacking opportunities for the front three players. Komen, Lewandowski, Gnabry, Basuma, Goretzka, Kimmich, Davies, Upamecano, Luis Felipe, and Babu on his debut. And Neuer make up our team. Let's hope it's going to be a win. Should Hernandez start? Should Hernandez start? He probably should instead of Luis Felipe. He probably should. But he's not going to. We'll see how it goes. I mean, Luis Felipe might be needing to re be replaced, but for now he's doing enough to stay in the squad. So for now, I'll keep him in the squad. Let's jump into it and hope that we come away with a win. Away from home against one of the harder teams in our division. Got very, very good players all over the pitch. We're able to see the squad right now in Kunku, insane in real life. Silver, Olmo, other players that I didn't get the time to look at because, you know, the screen goes really quickly. Haidara is doing really well. Um, Mukele, I don't think I'm saying that right, but Angelino, Golaski, yeah, very, very good players. Hoping that we can still come away with a win. Now, haven't started the season two flash, but uh, nor have we, losing our first game away from home. And this is our second game away from home now, so I'm not feeling super confident, but when Lewandowski goes through on goal, normally you feel confident, but he has not finished his dinner there, and I'm very surprised about that. Definitely thought that one was going to nestle in the bottom corner, top corner. I, I don't care where it was going to nestle. I thought it was nestling in the goal in some way, shape or form. But it does certainly look like us being the dominant side so far in this game is what is occurring. And with only 10 minutes to go in this half, we probably should be a goal up with the XG that we're seeing. And a very low XG from RB Leipzig. I'm happy that I've moved it down to this more defensive formation. Muller's, sorry, not Muller, Lewandowski's already looking tired up front, and I'm going to try and fire them up by saying I'm not happy with the performance, because we should really have scored based off that XG, and I would like to have seen a couple more highlights, don't let them score from a free kick, thank you, we've headed it out, but Nkunku is straight back on the ball, whips it in, he's miles offside, miles offside, I shouldn't even have to see that highlight football manager, that's, I've not even been teased by that, I didn't think that was going in at all, uh, Basuma's looking tired as well, maybe the game to give him a rest, rotate the squad. I will actually bring on Musiala, see what he can do in that Mazala role. I'm thinking maybe to bring Lewandowski off as well, but that sounds crazy when we're not winning the game. It, it, it is crazy when we're not winning the game. I'll keep him on. 20 minutes to go in this one. I don't know if I'd take a draw. It is definitely a harder place to come, but we are, we are buying Munich, and I think I'm forgetting that every now and then. We are one of the best teams in the world. We probably should be winning this. Leroy Sane hasn't started. I have not started Leroy Sane. Why I've done that is beyond me. Oh my goodness. That is um, not an intelligent decision. Can Komen play at striker? I don't really want to play Komen at striker. I think I'm just going to take Lewandowski off and bring Adeyemi on at striker. Hope that he scores again. He would turn into an absolute legend if he manages to score this early in the save. I don't know if it's going to happen. With three minutes of additional time, I'll demand more from them and hope that we get one last highlight. I don't think it's going to happen, and we are going to just accept a nil all draw there. Not the flashiest of games, not the best performance either, but at least it's not a loss, and at least this time we looked very dominant. And at least Mbabu has proven to be a very adept... Adept? Is that the right word? I'm, I'm trying to say competent. Is adept the same? I'm Googling it. I'm Googling it. You can't see it because, you know, I've got... got um. Uh, OBS on the on the, 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 the I can't type and speak on the just on the game. Adept means very skilled or proficient at something. So it's it's better than competent. So he's he's adept. He is clearly adept at being a right back because he's gone. You get man of the match. Okay, no Galas Galaxy 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 Galaxy. I think it is. Has managed to get man of the match, but he's gotten a good rating. He's got a very good rating for his first game. So, heads off to you, Mbabu. Looking like you could do all right at this club. Probably not going to play the next game, though, because we are versing Shakhtar now in the first game of the Champions League group. Hopefully, we win it, and hopefully, we can manage to get to the top of our group, which I haven't even revealed yet. We've got Real Madrid, Shakhtar, and Red Star. I mean, I don't think there's any doubt that we're going to be going through to the next round with those four teams, but 
to whether or not we're going to be above Real Madrid or below Real Madrid is a whole nother story. But it's a win here, right here, right now, is going to go a long way to helping us develop, make sure we are on top, looking dominant for the entire season in this Champions League. So let's go out there. Let's get the win. And let's rotate this team because people are getting tired. Well, surely Real Madrid are going to win their first game against Red Star. So we need to make sure that this is at least a 2-0 win, I'd say. We are going with a heavily rotated side, though. And maybe I'm disrespecting Shakhtar just a wee bit. But I back these boys. Adeyemi, Musiala, Cabela, uh, Sane, Sabitza, Roca, Mbabu, Sul, Rit... R oh, I don't know how to say it. The Ukrainian dude who used to play for Shakhtar, Hernandez and Neuer starting in this game. So... Not really any main key players apart from Sane, but I've only got him on because his match sharpness is so low. And we've also got Saul and uh, Hernandez that could easily be starting, but both low on match sharpness. So it could be an interesting affair. I'm expecting a win. I certainly wouldn't have played this squad if I didn't think we were going to win. But I'm um, a little tentative and thinking perhaps I have gone a wee bit over rotational but it's, it's nice to be able to have this screen where you can see the faces okay i will admit I, I much prefer this we can know who we're versing and as a shakhtar team with a couple of players that are actually slightly frightening david Neres, taliso traore antonio a lot of really good players actually and i'm now starting to think yeah no i probably have way over rotated this team but the first opportunity is coming their way as long as we you know, weather the storm, take it away from them, hopefully run up the other side of the pitch. We could get a goal. I'm just hoping we don't concede early on here because we are at home. We should be the favourites to win this game by miles, and they're the ones attacking us. Hopefully, the chance isn't over. It is over. I guess that block was the opportunity. I don't really know, but they're back on the ball, and we're hoping to win it back. Marcus Antonio, is it? And I think it is. Puts it through to Traore eventually. He puts it against the woodwork. And we are lucky to still be in this game. Shakhtar are definitely looking like the better side. And Red Star are winning their game. Red Star are winning. Oh, I love that. That's beautiful. I really hope that that stays until the end of the game. I don't think it will. But um, that's brilliant. That is brilliant. I love this bald man at the back, by the way. You just... Is, 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 he's, he's like a light bulb in the middle of the pitch. It's, it's beautiful. I love it. Hopefully he can keep a clean sheet in this game against his former side. Deliso against his former side. I'm hoping we'll have a very bad game. Because it is them back on the ball and potentially attacking us. We had it, but we gave it away. And I do think this is going to be another chance for Shakhtar. I think I've definitely over-rotated. I should not have done this much rotation. Because this team is clearly half decent. But it is actually us attacking. Adiemi's through. I don't see any reason why that wouldn't be a goal. I don't think he was offside. I think they're going to check it. And they're going to realise he's onside. We're going to go 1-0 up. And my decision to rotate this team so much is looking a little less stupid now. Cabela with his first assist of the entire season, I imagine. Eddie Emi with his second goal of the year. Looking like an incredible signing for the future. And I knew he would be. I mean, everyone that's used him in football managers yeah, will know that he is such a good player. Real Madrid are now winning. How, how have you let that slip so quickly, Red Star? Oh my goodness, 19th minute and 22nd minute. Useless. We have the centre back on free kicks. Um. Sorry. Is his free kick rating just really high? Or do we have terrible free kick takers? It's 16. That's pretty respectable, but surely like Sane or someone has got decent free why are we not giving it to Sane how has that man pulled rank over Sane okay now that's interesting um we'll move on from that and hope that we score from this highlight to make it 2-0 and actually look like a decent performance Cabela into Sane playing it through to Adeyemi for a second of the day he does smash it in and again I don't see any reason why this would be ruled out I don't even know why they keep going to VAR they look pretty clear cut to me it's a good through ball, and it is a goal to Eddie Emi to put us 2-0 up. It's, it's unnecessary. We don't need the VAR every five seconds, football manager. Thank you very much. Sane, it, he's, he's so far onside. I don't understand how that's even being questioned. He's so far onside. I want to see the lines just to make fun of it, football manager. You can clearly see that man is so, <laughs> stupid. Absolutely stupid. Don't even try and take that one away from us. It's 2-0. And I'm now feeling a lot more comfortable about my decision to 
rotate. It looks like we're going to win this game, even with a heavily rotated squad. Even with a lower XG than our opposition, we just seem to be taking our chances. And here's Mbabu running down the right-hand side. And I imagine his Champions League debut. Don't think that Wolfsburg... Oh, they've definitely been in the Champions League recently. I don't know if they would have been since he's starting. I, I, I don't know. I don't know, to be honest. But I imagine it's his first Champions League game. Definitely his first Champions League game for us. He's gotten the ball back after I've... He disregarded the fact that he lost the ball about two minutes ago. Plays it through to Cabela. Sane's through. It's the woodwork. Could have made it 3-0 at halftime. And if it was 3-0 at halftime, I think I would have guaranteed that we would win this match. But we are doing very well at the moment. Winning this game comfortably. Looking like the better of the two sides now. With a 9... Sorry, a 0.99 XG to a 0.82. I don't feel the need to bring any of the big boy starters onto the pitch anytime soon. I think that these rotation men are showing that they have a place in the squad. By winning this game and keeping a clean sheet at this point in time, Neuer still absolutely brilliant in this game, obviously, even at 35 years of age. I, I was tempted to start the other goalkeeper. But I'm very happy I didn't after the amount of shots we've had against us. I think we do need that really good player in between the sticks. I just couldn't bring myself to rotate it. He's too good. He's too much better than the other goalkeeper we have. I don't even know his name. I, I recognise him. I know who he is. But it's, it starts with a U. And it's just a name I've never heard before. So I don't know how to say it. Dodo swinging it in. We hit it out. But I think it's still their opportunity. As Ansaldi, another really good player, picks up the ball. Into Marcus Antonio. Into Tolisso. I would have been very upset if he managed to hit that one to the top corner. But luckily, ricochets off the bar, stays out, and it doesn't look like we're giving that one away too easily. We're going to bring Saul off now, because he's he's probably the one player that I'm looking to play the least, because he is leaving us at the end of the season, no matter what we do now. So, um, yeah, don't feel the need to give him too much game time, but out of respect for him as a player, I do think he deserves a bit of time here and there, and just because, you know, he's also a pretty good football player, so might be nice to give him some game time. Musiala's coming off for Komen, getting more game time out there. We know that Komen can do good stuff. We know that Musiala can do really good stuff too, but hasn't really shown that today, but that's okay. He'll get more opportunities in the future. Adiemi through to Sane. Oh, they've just got a man sent off. And Saldi. I think that that wraps up the three points. Definitely going to get the win now. With them a man light. I, I imagine they're going to not concede too many more goals. I imagine we'll score one more. But um, I'm not expecting us to be smashing them left, right and centre into the back of the net. But I'm certainly not expecting them to be scoring any after going to 10 men. But stranger things has happened in Football Manager. But it does look like we're back on the attack here. Adiemi puts it through to Cabela, who t did not run in the way that he should have. This one I do think was offside, to be fair, actually. I know that Football Manager has been whipping out the VAR too often, but I think this one was offside. Yep, I was correct. See, just get me on the line, Football Manager. I can tell you. I don't even need to, you know, have the replays. He's miles off there. Definitely shouldn't stand. And I'm a little frustrated that Cabela didn't run through that gap that was opening up earlier and sort of just kept the ball back and waited for another player to run through. Could have been his chance to score his first goal for the club. He doesn't want to take it, that's okay. But it would have been nice for the goal difference, especially considering the fact it looks like Red Star are being battered by Real Madrid even after going 1-0 uh, up early on in the game. But not focused on that right now. We're focused on Eddie Emi potentially getting a hat-trick here as we win a penalty. And I'm sure he's going to be the man stepping up to the plate. And he scores a hat-trick for the young man on his Champions League, I imagine, Champions League debut. Well, no, actually, because RB, RB Salzburg do play in the Champions League very often. So I imagine he's probably actually played in the Champions League. I, I've said imagine about 17 times. I sound like John Lennon at the moment. It is John Lennon. It, sounds, it is definitely John Lennon, isn't it? I'm 99.9% I'm sure, but I'm sure you'll tell me in the comment section below if I'm being dumb. I think, I think I'm correct, and I don't actually think there's anyone that I want to bring on. I think I'm happy with this lineup, happy with how the game's gone, and happy with a 3-0 win against a very good side. We have versed a much more difficult side than Real Madrid has. Let's not get too worried about the fact that they are above us currently with, oh my gosh, 7-1 win. I mean, we, we, we could expect it to be a big win. But after them going 1-0 up, I was expecting it to maybe be an interesting fight. But no, no, uh, Real Madrid have annihilated them and gotten a very good XG as a result. Of, sorry, uh, goal difference as a result of it. Hopefully we can reach them by just, you know, beating them in the games we verse against them. But 
But now I think 3-0 shouldn't be too upset about, and Adeyemi certainly shouldn't be too upset about his performance. Getting a 9.1 rating, three goals, goes up to a three-star current ability, looking like a real quality player who could be an option for the first team, left, right, and center. What a signing he was for just 7.5 million pounds. I mean, we knew he would be a gem, but he's ended up being a pretty quick gem. And uh, he's doing well in the Champions League. But for now, this is where we're ending today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching it. Next time, we will be coming back. Ooh, I normally simulate about five games. So, yep, that's perfect. Real Madrid and Hoffenheim will be the two games that you'll see in tomorrow's episode. Or whenever I upload the episode. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really have a schedule at the moment. I just kind of upload randomly. Every if I, if I haven't uploaded for two days, I generally think, okay, yeah, I should probably probably upload. But no back-to-back -back uploads like there used to be, unfortunately. But still, trying to pump out this content. Still enjoying the YouTube thing, but just don't have as much time as I did previously. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching this one. Make sure to smash the like button if you have enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all later.